All right. Now, remember, this is going to be a lot of steps, and I'm going to do it really quickly so I can fit it in my 10-minute time slot here. But you'll be able to follow the steps and do it. Don't forget, if something goes by too quick, just rewind it and watch it again. We're going to start off with an image that's 8 by 10. If you're going to be sending this off to a lab to have them actually print a real calendar, a printed calendar, then use a resolution of at least 240 or 300. Okay, so 8 by 10 or 10 by 8 and click OK. All right, first step is I use a photo as kind of my guide to build this. So let's go ahead and open up a photograph. doesn't matter, you know, which photograph. We're going to drag it in here and then resize it. You're going to have to make it a little smaller than you would think. So maybe something more like this. You need a little extra space. Okay. And hit return or enter to lock in your change. Now, duplicate that image. Press Command J on Mac or Control J on PC. Duplicate that layer. And then hold the Shift key and you're going to drag it straight over and put a little gap between the two pictures like that. Now you're going to press Command T on Mac or Control T on PC to bring up Free Transform. Go up to the ruler and drag yourself out a guide and drag it right down to where the two center guides are. You've just marked the exact center of the photo. Now you can hit Escape. You don't need Free Transform anymore. What you need to do is cut a hole between these two. We'll cut this photo in half. So get the Rectangular Marquee tool and you're going to just draw a little rectangular selection right between these two. That's kind of close to the same width as what you have between the two photos. And hit delete and then deselect. So there you have it. That's how you build the idea for your template. So once you've done that, we can get rid of that guide. Let's clear guides. Okay. And then we'll just move these. Let's hold shift, grab the two layers, and kind of center them a little better. There we go. Now what we need to do is put a selection around all of this. So hold the command key on Mac or the control key on PC and click to select your layer. Now you're going to keep holding the command key, hold, add shift. So now you're holding shift command on Mac or shift control on PC and add the other layer. So you've got everything on these uh, layers selected. Go to the adjustment layer pop-up menu here and choose solid color. And it brings up this dialog and just click OK. Now, you're going to press, you need the opposite of this. You're going to press Command-I on Mac or Control-I on PC. What that does is it makes the three boxes transparent and then fills the background with black. But you don't really want black as your background color. This is where you choose the color that you want your calendar background to appear. So go over here, double click, and choose a color. I'm going to choose something a little more like what Apple had, some kind of a, there we go, there's some kind of a color. It's, it's I don't know what it is. Click OK. All right. That's the hard part. The rest is easy. It's just a little tedious. So let's add a new layer. And you're going to draw a selection that is about a half an inch larger than your images. So something like that-ish. I'm kind of just eyeing it, but there you go. Maybe a little bigger and I'll drag it over a pixel or two. There we go. Now, get your eyedropper tool and steal that background color. Just click and now I've got that background color. Now you're going to put a fill over this. So press Option Delete or in PC Alt Backspace to fill that layer with that color and deselect. So basically you've completely covered it. Go to your Layer Styles pop-up menu now and choose Inner Glow. When that pops up, you need to do three things. Number one, change your color. Click on that swatch to black. Can't even see anything because you need to change number two, your blend mode to normal and you have this little dark inner shadow. But number three is lower the opacity so it kind of looks like a little matte. There we go. Now the problem is this fill is covering the whole thing we built below it. So what you need to do is go to your fill and lower it to zero. What that does is it leaves your shadow at 100%, but it makes the rest see through. By the way, we don't need these wine bottles anymore. Let's get rid of them. They were just there for us to make uh, our layout. And by the way, if you hide the background layer, you'll see those are transparent boxes. Okay? Now, we're now we're just building kind of the look of it now. So let's add another layer. You're going to draw a selection uh, that is just inside that rectangle. So we're going to draw another rectangle inside your first rectangle, just like that. And we're going to set black as your foreground color, so press the letter D. And you're going to go up here and choose Stroke. And add a one pixel stroke and deselect so you can see it, and then lower the opacity so it blends in a little better. All right, now, the last thing that Apple did in the, on their little calendar 
was they had a little nice kind of old-fashioned ornament going around it. Well, Photoshop has something close. Go over here to the custom, to the shape tools, and choose the custom shape tool here at the bottom. That lets you use any one of these shapes up here. But you want to load ornaments, and it brings all these ornamental looks in. Hit append, brings all these ornamental looks. And what I'm going to use is this one right here, which is kind of close to what Apple used, something right there. Okay, so click on that, and then we're going to go right to the edge here on this new layer, and we're going to click and drag one out. Now make sure that before you drag yours out that you have clicked on this third icon up here so it draws pixels instead of a shape layer or a path. All right, so click that first, then draw that shape. So here's the technique we're going to do for the rest of building this ornament. You're going to, step one, duplicate the layer. Press Command J or Control J. Step two, hold the Shift key and drag straight over and align the two so they're touching, like that. Step three, press Command E on Mac or Control E on PC to merge those two into one layer. All right, here it is again. Duplicate the layer. Hold the Shift key, drag straight over. Press Command E on Mac or Control E on PC to merge it together. Now, do it again. Duplicate the layer. Now you're duplicating four. All right. Press Command E, merge them together. Now you're duplicating eight. So we can do one. There you go. And actually, let's do one more before we merge because it's going to be a little too long. That way we can snip off this last one like that. Okay, and then let's, uh, that's a bad snip job. Let's move it over a little. And then we'll merge those together, Command E, Command E, so they're in one big row. Now duplicate that layer. Go to Free Transform, Control click on Mac or right click on PC, and this menu pops up. Choose Flip Vertical. And then hold the Shift key, and we can drag straight down. So there's the bottom of our ornaments. Now we're going to duplicate it again to make the sides. Duplicate it. Free transform and just rotate it either clockwise or counterclockwise. Press return or enter and then drag it over here. It's a little too long, right? So we'll snip off the end over here. We'll snip off from there down. All right, duplicate that layer, bring it over, and this time choose flip horizontal. Drag it over, and we've got our little apple ornamental border. Move that up a little bit. Looks kind of lame. All right, and then we'll merge these together. Command E, Command E, Command E on PC. Control E, Control E. There it is. And then let's lower the opacity. All righty. Now, now we bring in our photos. Go down to the background layer and click on it. Go to Place. You're going to bring in your first photo as a smart object. That's why we're choosing Place instead of Open. And you're going to resize this to fit. Something like that and drag it down a little bit like that. All right, and hit enter or return to lock it in. Now you're going to go to the next photo. Now you need a wide photo, so we'll choose a wide photo. Bring that in and we're going to position it up in the right corner like that. Drag it over a bit. Then we're going to do one more photo. This one right here. Drag it into place and size it down. Okay, so at this point, when you hit return, you've built your template. You've got your first one. Go and save this as a template. So we'll go to Save As. We'll call it Calendar Template. And close it. So now, when you go to reopen something like this, here's how you use it. You open it up. You go straight to the left side. Control click on Mac or right click on PC and choose Replace Contents. Now you choose a completely different photo, hit place, and it pops right in there for you. Go to the other photo, and you can name these layers if it helps you. It surely would. Choose a different photo, hit place, and boom, it replaces it. Go over here, choose replace contents. I'm right-clicking on Mac or control-click on PC, and boom, you've got it done. That's how you put your calendar together. Alrighty, Whew, and we just made it on time. Whew.